Hi again. And sorry for the interruption in the previous episode. I was sent the gift via Steam, which was interesting. And then it untapped the game. And eventually I have apparently lost connection, so I just uh, restarted the game. Not restarted the game, but uh, recreated the uh, server or whatever instance. And I came back here and see, as you can see, the layout of this is most likely different this time. So I have no idea where I'm going. It's fun. So I got... The game as a gift. That's interesting. I won't say right now what it is. But be sure that... But... <laughs> I... You can be sure that it will appear on the channel eventually. Now to go through these hordes of enemies again. I think the combat in Diablo is fun, so why not, right? And I'm almost maximum level, so I will soon be able to start gathering Paragon levels. There's a part six. Let's kill this guy and then Let's go back and listen to part 6. Last night, I found the ruined Nephilim city. When I stepped into the buried catacombs, I felt a stirring in my blood. And then a wondrous thing. A dim light began to glow all around me, not cast by any torch. It was as though the very stones acknowledged my presence. I think uh, he's quoting this. So this is the way to go, it seems. You will spit it! Kill them. Good.
I'm so looking forward to the progression. Then game progression. As in the orders and bounties and such. I find the idea of those interesting. A lot of people don't seem to not like them, but I will be different. You'll see. I have to first get to them, though. It's not that I'm uh, not enjoying the story or anything, I am. And I already want to see the city of Nephilim. Of the Nephilim. I wonder what it looks like now. Because the Nephilim aren't a thing anymore. Unless I'm one. Unless I'm one. I did not mean to do that. Oh, hello. Pink Bane the Hellion. Oh no. And I'm completely stuck. At least I got the... Uh, at least I broke free. Through here. I must wait I grow weak. Well, I'm gonna die here because I can't move. Whew. I need to go back through the familiar way. This is tough. Move, 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 move. It's when I get stuck like that. Considering how many enemies there are, it's in a way unfair. I defeated the Black Pain. What did I got? What did I get? A legendary helm. Let's see what this is about. 1044 armor. Strength, no vitality, but has 6000 life per second on it. Oh.
Helen 14% life 429,000 And if I put this in there 438,000 So I lose I don't lose anything, I gain 9,000 But at the same time I also gain life per second How much do I have that? 10,000 now That's incredible, actually. Get back here. That one worked. Is there a part seven? Yep. The Nephilim had such a strong connection to the light that it granted them powers far beyond our own. But I believe that through the light they can be reborn in us. Thus I have consecrated Westmark. A shining beacon in the west. I have taken for my sigil the wolf of Corvus and proclaimed myself king. Oh. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, hello. More of these guys. That one. That flesh call flesh shaman is dead, so he cannot respawn. The areas are so big and so interesting, there's always so much to explore. So much to explore, so much to learn. This way. I don't want to go outside like that. If I go outside, I want to go from the correct door, not back.
obtain the treasure of the cursed chamber. I found an optional event. Activate the first tension switch. This cannot be opened yet. Alright, so I just have to kill them. Nice. Each time more of them spawn. Let's wait, wait for cooldowns. And now. Oh, hello. Malgosh. I killed your ads. Almost. One is still alive. But he has 14 million health. Got that guy. Better than today, or worse? What a mysterious question. I do miss it, very much. But I have such wonderful companions today, that I could never go back. <laughs> I would definitely want to learn more about the world of Diablo this world think that would be fun. The world seems to be so... so varied that, that, that I'm 100% sure that there is a lot to learn. Another thing however is that uh, how much of that world is actually written by its creators. How much of this world actually exists? Just looking at this game, there is already a lot. But I guess not everything can be explored and some things are supposed to stay a mystery. And that's always sad.
Alright. You spawned. And you died. Interesting. So before those were switches, there were Nephilim switches about those. Uh, there were Nephilim switches about the, um, the, the 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 treasure room, which we saw. But this time that wasn't here, and this time instead we got that uh, little event there. 